The show, the show in this style. I'm yeah, here man. with my brother, Papa Sidi. Yes, man. Oga mbo ti amganda wa. It's nice to see you here. Yeah, man. Nice to see show you too. Show oji whatever you bundala nyama mani Yeah, man. Long way, <laughs> long way we come from. Of course. Yeah, man. Uh, Papa Sidi is here today with us, and it is a special, actually, an unleashment that I just did in style. Otherwise, uh, it should have been me coming up here introducing us. Uh, today we have a special guest. But he came up straight. Otherwise, he is my special guest today. A legend. Yeah, man, when I'm straight to the gear. point. Of course. Not he is a close. legendary artist. Uh, a singer of love. Love music. Love music. All the songs you've been listening to and watching him perform are all love songs. And they give you the history of love and all that. I, I, I sing love music, but I don't know if I have love. That's what and I want I, to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, today... I also we, uh, don't know. Okay. You yeah. also don't know. Yes. We shall know. <laughs> By the end of this show, you'll know whether Papa CD knows love or has love at the same time. Otherwise, you are most welcome to the number one love show. That is the glory of love on your number one TV channel. That is none other than Magic One TV in full effect, HD. How are you doing today? A wonderful Saturday. We just, uh, every single Saturday around this time, we say it is time to love. And once I'm here, you know, everything is covered. Well, uh, that was how we started our show. And uh, we are going to settle down shortly with Papa CD so we can discuss a few things concerning uh, love. I told you this month, or actually we started it from last month, we are running the theme love and music for at least two months to make you understand that actually in love there must be music to give it the melody so that everything runs so so nicely and sweetly well uh, without wasting time allow us to settle down and we are coming back shortly with a discussion don't go away it is the glory of love with me mc sugar and today with papa cd <laughs> Yo, ladies and gentlemen, just like I told you earlier on, it is the time for the glory of love on your number one TV channel that is Magic One TV. Well, today, just like usual, I always tell you we are here at Lokuli Road on Nam House. The place is called Voices and Beats. That's where we are best to give you all this fire. I hope you feel it. So for those who want to do something regarding music, maybe you are an up upcoming artist, you're a rising star, you want to be a star, but you don't know how to start. You need to check out these people. 
come here they'll help you with all issues concerning music it's a recording label come check them out i just told you machinde that is lukuli road nam house you'll see them straight up while on the other hand uh, uh, this is the very time i want to use to tell you guys for some of you You've been having a controversy about uh, uh, some of the adverts that we play here. I always tell you people about uh, those who are seated home, you know. Most students are seated home. There's no school. And so I told you we have an offer for some of you who want to become TV stars. You want to become a producer, maybe a radio star. You want to become a presenter. I told you to check out our digits because we have a training session. We don't have jobs we have training sessions for you so that you can get yourself that certificate and then go look out for the job. You understand? Don't misquote and come looking for a job, please. No, just come train with us. We shall give you the best. We shall always usher you into a better training that will make you one of the greatest time to come. While a uh, special shout outs to some great people that I adore, that I respect so much, uh, I want to send a special shout outs to the staff of... Uh, uh, Miliano Saloon. They are located in uh, Rua Park, uh, Rua Park Mall. That is level two, uh, room number uh, 640 and 641. You need to check out. There's Walker there. Walker, how are you doing? And now here. They are the ones, they're the brains behind my look here, you know. I don't have hair, but uh, it is not easy to stay without hair. And they don't only end at the point of shaving you or creating, giving you that look, but they also give you massage. Hey, magazi. They shave your head and massage until you get that feel. You understand? Well, let's get to the point. I told you today I have Papa Sid with me here, and he's just one of my guests. I have a second guest to come, but for now, I have him. So we are going to talk love. And for now, uh, let's have Papa Sid. <laughs> of huh? course, we, we have Papa Sid now. Yeah, so uh, with Papa Sid, I want to introduce my topic of the day. Yes. Today we are talking music, and then we shall also discuss something to do with the love. And my topic for love today yeah. is about outing. Outing. Omani, yeah. there are so many couples out there, or even singles. Yeah. out. Yeah, man. And uh, the motive of going out most times is unknown. Oli Olusa again out because of a uh, 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 bandwagon. There are yeah, others sure. who are saying, "Let's go, let's go." Yeah, yeah. Then there are those who go kangende skirize yo mfuneko abankwana. Yeah man, yeah man. Na yonga teba mukwanya. So, we want to find out if you really want to go out whether with your girlfriend, your boyfriend or as a single at the end of the day, how will you handle or how will you manage to get achieve the motive? of your outing otherwise to begin the whole thing zengamba if you don't have a motive of going out to get out what do you have plan what do you have to get out no sometimes do you agree with me no i don't agree okay because sometimes when you can you can refuse to go out uh. when it's where you're going to find your luck so where it is it might be where you're going to find the love of your life so you're saying it is okay. But you, for you, you stay at home sleeping. <laughs> so, you've gone out yeah. without preparation. Not yeah. okay, in reality, the person who would admire you is there. He does, he's not identifying you well because he did not come prepared enough. Yeah, you know what, what is meant to be yours? It yes, will, will always be yours. Will always be yours. For, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Kubango yinza no kujanga we no bunye mfufuna ene akulonda na gamba that one that one that one there all right now and then on the other hand uh muri ma bantu bagamba i can't go out nga sina outfits i don't have shoes i don't have new clothes uh chicho chicho to gamba about that do you uh, think it matters so much there's people who who <laughs> who say that they can't go out without outfits you come to Papa City, I make you a dress. <laughs> I make you a bikini. I make you a jacket, you know. You look smart and then you go out. <laughs> then what else? Like on a serious. <laughs> on a so, serious hey, note. Yes. By Ch um, some people, of course, they are true. And then they look shabby. There is the old man they, out. It is the old man out, yeah. of course. Now still... Some people borrow clothes. 
True. They borrow, they don't buy. They borrow. Watia ngo sinka nye ya kuwa dengo ina gamba sewe ngato ya. No, na ya wama nyinti omulimu kwa ngi kwa kuwala bantu ngoe. You TV presenters, you know this, this thing. <laughs> We understand. <laughs> you know this thing. Akuwe chintu, not okay. Yo nakuba kachokolo sebo. Tuzi nanya ate munga toza. Gai ya chinko lako bambi. Yali ntude. Esati ya nganji. Nganji tude. Yali mpamfu kuhunzi of course. Okay. Katini natula, I sat, I sat down na, and I sat on the shirt. Oh. And the guy came, came at my back and told me, man, are you sitting is. at the shirt now? <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to pause a little bit. We're going for a short commercial break. And when we return, I'll be bringing Papa Sidi again. He has a new song. We yeah. shall be talking about that song briefly, and he will have to perform it for us because uh, today I have him as my superstar yeah. and our artist, and he will be doing that for us over and over again. So let's enjoy Papa Sidi and let's enjoy the glory of love with me, MC Peace. Sugar, the King of Hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from the short breather. And here at Glory of Love, we say thank God it is a Saturday because you know, when it is Saturday, this is what we bring you, and it is always on the menu. All right, right now, here I have my second guest, and I don't know whether I should introduce you or allow you to introduce yourself, but I know her as Kepa, and uh, I knew about her from somewhere. She's going to tell us more details, but she's not new to me, and uh, we are friends, are we? Yes, we oh, are we friends. Are something more than friends. Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell my beautiful viewers about yourself, but then we engage uh, on this discussion. Our oh, beautiful viewers, uh, my name is Kepa. I'm 35 years. I'm a single mother. I'm not searching. Thank you. Oh, my God. It is a rare thing to find a lady mentioning her actual age. A lady who is not confident about themselves. Oh, it's, it's, it's good to be self-confident about yourself. Mm. Some feel if they mention their age, maybe they are going to chase away some possible suitors. It's the reason as to why we don't have a female president, because they will never tell their real age. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, here is Kepa on my set, and we are talking about outing, just like I introduced the topic earlier on, as you saw in my discussion with Papa Sidi, and now he has brought Kepa to represent for the women. Would you be in position to speak for them? Or you can even speak for both? I can speak for both. Okay. Because I right. grew up with boys. Ah, mm. and that's beautiful. You're the, you're the best candidate for this. All right, Kepa, what does it talk about outing? You know, outing is a, is a funny thing. It is something that uh, we are not so, if I should say, our culture doesn't introduce us to this. Mm. We learn it in the, in, the, in the due course of our growing up, most mm. especially when we become teens and then turn into uh, uh, adolescence. Mm. And uh, it becomes some alien kind of thing that we just learn and every time we engage into it, we feel we are not worth, worthy enough, if I should say. Yeah. What do you say? What is your take on outings in general, first of all? Is it good to out? Is it, you know? Tell us anything. Uh, I personally, I would want a man who would take me out. Even if you don't know me, even if you're not dating me, you should okay. take me out. First, for food. I love food more than I love myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but uh, there's a bad thing in this outing. Okay. I've seen very many couples like also my my relationship collapsed because hey. of, of outing jeez tell me more <laughs> okay this is a guy i knew for two years he took me out okay uh, like it was a baby relationship it was new okay. we were having we were so madly in love puppy love puppy love guess what uh -huh. we went to a club we bumped into his ex and she was like hey david you even got another girl without telling me <laughs> as if it was his duty to tell you i mean well, to tell of him of course when you break up with someone make it clear you know what it's over i want you guys to act like adults so it was like they were still having communication they were still even seeing each other secretly Jeez. see so and um, this dating stuff or <laughs> dating kind of thing uh. i think it's also it would have been good okay. if the couples or uh, anyone dating Okay, they shouldn't go together. Okay. When they're dating, because... You feel they shouldn't go out together. Together, because they will find more problems out there. Because I myself, bumping oh into my, my exes, my exes lover, uh, I, I did not only bump into... You bumped into, into your ex's ex. But I also found 
<laughs> very many beautiful girls outside in that outing I was taken to. Jeez. So, so I was so, so. like, is this man giving me a test that I should be my I should be seeing my rivals in oh case when I when <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, there is something I want us to put clear here. When we talk about outing, this is uh, it's like a part. It is one of those things that people exercise during dating. So when you're dating is uh, the process. Dating is the process. You really feel for them. You really love them. You really want to take these things to the next level. And one of the steps that you cannot skip is taking this girl, taking this guy. For your information, let me repeat this. You can take this guy out. Because here, you Ugandans, you know, the ladies believe it is always them to be taken out. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Do you have? A, do you think you can take your man out? I can take my man out if I love him. But okay. if I don't love him, it can be my like my ATM thing to take another man I like out. <laughs> yeah, it works like that. So uh, if you if your lady has never taken you out, motonuli the sours, you know the new gala. Don't gala. Are you for real? Okay, that is what Kepa has said. Though it is not, uh, it is not according to you. Maybe yours is a different case. But for her, she says she will only take out a man whom she loves, and I know ladies for that. Yeah. All right. Now, getting to the other point of the whole thing, you as ladies have a lot of yekwa. So when I, if I should say so, when it comes to outing, there are those ladies that feel there is a certain way of dress code that you should uh, be having or putting on, yeah. and then there's a. Uh, generally, you, you, what do you consider when you're going out as Kepa? I, I, I myself, uh, I would consider putting on heels, but I got an accident, so I'll go for a doll shoes. Okay. But if uh, if I've gotten a new lover, okay. Of course, I won't tell them I have I have meters in my leg. I'll force myself in heels, short dressy, okay. to okay. look sexy, because I know we are going to find more beautiful ladies more than me so i need to be looking fresh i've captured two words there <laughs> you want to look sexy and fresh more beautiful than, and fresh than than the ladies i'm going to find there the ladies. rivals <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen <laughs> take note of this if it now for the guys if it is your lady asking to take you out it is upon you to make sure you kill it in your dress exactly. code because i'll find more sexier guys guys of course and so they're are there <laughs> <laughs> so that means any guy or any lady who does not have those attributes of the things that are going to make her sexy enough she doesn't even like you it's like you're forcing so, her on a date so shouldn't she try i can be trying to make you think i mean i mean for it uh -huh. when i'm going for food <laughs> Now, the other thing is I want us to talk to those ladies who don't believe in outing. They think uh, if you have, if this guy loves you, it is okay for you guys to casually have an outing just within. Like, you know, when you talk about outing, I've said every single it, it is something that is so diverse. And so, we'll to Allah out na ye ini. And I can take you out to an to a place where it is basically public. So, our, our concept here is about the public sense of it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So we are mm -hmm. not asking someone to come and take you out uh, to a lodge and then things of that nature. So I think we need to clarify no, some of the places. No, even taking me to church is an outing. Because okay. let's say I'm a local, I'm a okay. Christian girl. I love Bible studies. When you take me to church, I listen to Pastor Bugembe singing, okay. giving sermons. Okay. I'll be the happiest girl <laughs> in the world. You know, we, women are so, very funny to I mean to to make I mean to make a woman to please to please I mean to please a woman is like a test. Okay. Because you can do something like let's say you can give her money and then she doesn't ap appreciate appreciate. Then a person buys her a Rolex. And she's like very excited. Chapatan, yes, I understand. And she's excited. So, <laughs> uh, outing can be church. It can be a beach. It can be. It can be even a bed. Really? Yes. Okay. When I've never been to your bed and you invite me, that's an outing. So Some beers <laughs> with beers. <laughs> she's talking about beers in bed. Are you for real? Is this? That was our Zakepa. No, uh, like you invite me to your house. Uh, I've never been to your house. Okay. Then we have some little drinks. So it's like a house tour. A house tour. Um, see, no, men uh, are men are adventurous. Okay. Like the same way you brought in that tour. Okay. Do you know that men tour <laughs> every day? You're like okay, rats. 
Oh, stop You're there. like crap. <laughs> stop right there. I'm not allowing you to exceed. All right. Uh, the, the whole point of the whole thing is um, having the adventure together yeah. as, a as a couple. What about to this guy who is single, to this lady who is single, is in their need to go out and how should they prepare and organize for an outing? They should ask themselves. They should have a talk first. Okay. Because you can ask a person out when she has never been to any outing place. Okay. She will get mad at you. Okay. She will be like, Kuna You need to ask her, okay, if a person wants to take you out, can Your you kindly tell me why you want to go? Uh -huh. Then she will be like, I'd like to go to Lido, I'd like to go to Gaba, I'd like to go to Mulungo. You see? Okay. She's not expensive. She's not talking of Serena. Okay. And then you, you are the man in control. You'll be like, can we have dinner at Serena? That's getting into your wallet. Okay, That's a of lot course, of money. So of course. getting there, uh, let's say a dinner for two goes for something like a hundred and, uh, no, not a hundred, a hundred and twenty is for one person. That is rent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you just stand, saying. You stand bo bo I'm yeah. just saying Why for that, that for that guy. Oh, for that. There oh. are people who, who pay rent of uh, 30k. Oh. Trust me, and they're also lovers. See, and very so, good lovers, by so the way. You need to first know where you stand, and you need to first know does my partner likes to be taken out? Because okay. some girls, by no gezi gezi, like me, you okay. can't tell me, can I take you out today? And, uh, and, you are I, the would, uh, type. Uh, and I say, yes. You take me out, you think I cannot, I cannot take myself out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a guy who told me, a mm. friend of mine said, uh, when a lady initiates an outing, mm. she has to pay for the bills. What is your take on that? If I have money, I can. But if I don't have, but would I you can't. initiate? Uh, 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 would you initiate an outing just like that? <laughs> I don't know. It but will I don't, depend. It, it will. De if I like you, even if I've just seen you that okay. day, mm. and I have some color on me, okay, I'll pay for a bill. But if I have not liked you, I'll eat your money today, the following day. For many days, and I disappear. <laughs> what in brief we call as milking him like a silly goat. Without any doubt. What? All right. Uh, finally, uh, the last question is about uh, a guy who is single and a lady who is single, and is not actually dating or not even uh, searching, mm -hmm. but he wants to go out. Like me, I'm just there mm -hmm. having my good life, and uh, I just want to take myself out. Um, Are there any considerations in case my intention is to go have an attraction, whoever get is, someone attracted whoever to me? Is seeing me okay they should put this into their consideration one all cameras on you make your your intentions clear if you want sex okay make it clear that's if you want a relation from that person you're going to meet on a date with make it clear this is why you get it wrong you want sex and you're like taking me on a date to do what tell me you want you want it done <laughs> be clear i right like then. clear people I like open people. It saves time. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the point where I should put a disclaimer. The words you're hearing are words of Kepa. <laughs> Goddess of the glory of love. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're wrapping up. Now, Kepa, uh, one of final words to those guys who fear themselves. You know, I have this feeling, Nganze, that I only believe I am truly in love with this lady mm. when we have become friends. Yeah, I and then there are those who have this perception mm. uh, when my sweetheart is in the room mm. I can't settle I'm sitting on one buttock <laughs> because they are cheating <laughs> uh -huh. okay um, first and foremost whoever is uh, looking at me you have to respect your partners I don't know where you got them from they can be from a poor background but uh, you need to respect their roots because whoever doesn't respect their partners roots they will end up breaking up. Okay. And if you want to, uh, your relationship to grow bigger, like a business, because relationships are like yeah, business. Of course, they have to they fall. They <laughs> can even rise. <laughs> they wake up. You're in another mood. <laughs> so I understand. You need to give your husband's uh, phone respect, or you need to give your girlfriend's what? phone some respect. I swear, you're the only person I've ever Don't touch it. Talking about this. Because men's phones are like onions. Okay. You will cry for nothing. I won't save you. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's that lady saying that Labo no via yogeda, tamani via yogeda ko, bakakase. Tell them the fact of the matter. Yeah, you need to leave your husband's phones alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone because you're looking for trouble. 
those guys bite them into binge. Uh, temptations during day, like we do, we ladies. Okay. Never come away, work when you're back. Don't grow wings. Rock over when you're from the bank. Okay. Doesn't make sense. A person has found you in a bank. Again, I could take a worker. Again, I could a car. Again, I could a car. I could a car. But you have to respect a man. I could own the yedi. Now, I could take a worker. It means a lot. Never am saying I'm going to find out why he cheated. Make it cor- I mean, correct it. Ogame, babe, you cheated on me. Where can I fix this? Okay, what can I do? Where can we go? Maybe you can go for a date. What can you say? Find a way of fixing it. Okay, okay. Surprise him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to add a voice to what Kepa has just said. In reality, we are not supporting infidelity. Neither are we supporting any vices in relationships. But we are saying those, de- those vices should not define your relationship. They should not dictate when your relationship should end. Your relationship is so, so precious because you brought it a long way. You're not going to keep jumping from one relationship to another simply because someone has faulted. We all make mistakes. That's what makes us humans. So you, who is uh, in the wrong, it is upon you to say sorry and prove that it won't happen again. Well, for you who has been offended, don't, want, don't, don't stick to acting victim all the time. You're not the first person to be victimized, and neither are you going to be the last. And um, to make it clear, don't think that you'll ever find someone that is perfect. And there's nothing, I repeat, there is nothing such as a perfect relationship. Get this from me, take it or leave it. You'll always find fault in your sweethearts. But the fault you find should be in your star, not just like any ordinary person. That person you're in love with should be your superstar. And if you take them like that, there will always be room for them in your heart for forgiveness. Because under forgiveness, there is always, you know, that comfort. There is always that uh, breather you get in your heart. But the moment you choose not to forgive, you will never have peace. Never will you have rest at heart. And uh, I've always told you this, and I'll repeat it one more time. Never go to bed angry because you don't know what is going to happen in the night. Your sweetheart may need your help. You are, you are chasing them to the living room, or you have decided to boycott and go to a different room. What about if you get an attack? Who will save your life? We don't want you to cry for us at the funeral, but we want to celebrate the funeral because life is supposed to be celebrated. It is me, the king of hearts. We want to close the show right now uh, with Kepa Kepa. I am so, so super excited and glad that you were here. Thank you for hosting me. Uh, and uh, I would like to give them, uh, and this is my last segment. Okay. Um, before going to bed, I want you couples out there to put your relationships into God's hands. Wow. Pray for your partners because they find temptations wherever they go. That's true. Put your relationship in God's hands. Exactly. What should I say? Pray for your sweetheart. That's the only thing I can say because you know what we go through every single day. Like for us, the men, it is worse. I don't know about the ladies. All I know is Baba Ede Yonga Baba Kwana 24 7. So if I put her in prayer, never know. I'm a Kwana in Zotu, Kanafuna diversion. Natamula Banga Itao. And my sweetheart will return back home to me happy and secure. So that is what we need to do. Relationships are always in need of assistance. Bagambe chitoke, chifachi, salida. So that is what I'll leave you with. And that's where I want to leave the show at. Uh, I'm returning back with Papa CD and a performance to wind down the show. Don't go away. It is still the glory of love. With me, MC Sugar. And I was with Kepa right now. We salute you for now. Catch you soon. Baby girl, you know you are fire. Bitch. You are fire. I used to think I will never fall in love, in love. I've been looking at the girl when she gone. She gone. She said she let she gone. In the gun to the eye. Oh, fantasy. You need your love to allow. Um, see my book to me. You need your love to allow. Baby girl, I'm telling you.